Hey, CC, it's Ryan, and today I want to read a story out of Matthew. Um, Jesus is about to go to the cross, and before he does, he's in the Garden of Gethsemane. And would you pick it up with me in Matthew 26, verse 39? It says this, it says, Going a little further, he fell with his face to the ground and prayed, My Father, if it is possible, may this cup be taken from me, yet not as I will, but as you will. You see, I think that there are two parts in this story that are really incredible. I think the first part is, is that Jesus is brutally honest about what he's going through. A lot of times when we try to submit to God's will, we like to deny our own feelings and act like it's very easy. But in reality, it's incredibly difficult. Jesus, the Son of God, had an incredibly difficult time doing it when he's about to go to the cross. But he didn't stop there. In fact, the next line says, Not as I will, but as you will. Jesus says, God, I know this is tough, and if it were up to me, I wouldn't have to do this. But he fully submits himself to God. He fully submits himself to God's wills, and he relinquishes control. A lot of times we struggle and we wrestle with the idea of relinquishing control, and that we like to have one hand where we say, God, I give you this, and I relinquish control. But we take one hand and put it behind our back and say, I don't want to give you these things. Here are the things that I'm okay giving. But in reality, we need to give God everything. We need to relinquish with both hands, openly, and say, God, I fully submit myself to you and to your authority and to your will, as Jesus did here. So this week, my encouragement to you is find ways to submit yourself to God's authority and relinquish control. Thank you guys so much. Have a great rest of your day.